from the Rivers property in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. This is Poker Night in America. Hello and welcome to Poker Night in America. Alongside Joe Stapleton, I'm Chris. Come on, you guys, I was gone for like one shoot. Can't you at least get my name right? Okay, that's better. Tonight we are in Pittsburgh, PA, home of Rivers Casino and a bunch of sports teams and some bridges and landmarks and blah, blah, blah. Well, obviously this show is not brought to you by the Pittsburgh Tourism Board. That's right, Chris, it's brought to you by America. Let's get down to the table where most of the gang has bought in pretty deep. The usual gang of idiots and lots and lots of money. A bunch of familiar Pania faces, a local musician, and Steven Gusak. It's early. Those are just waking up. It's not early. It's three in the afternoon. Early in the cut session. That. Cut that. <laughs> Lines are 25 and 50 as we get started, and Jack Schombacher is taking advantage of the $100 straddle. And it's a blind raise. I was, I was ready last to, go at to six. act before the flop. I was up at 3.30 today. I went, took a nap. I like starting earlier. Dear Lois, so Limson with sevens. Deep wasting no time raising. Pocket eights. I think it'll be better for the stream too, you know. Yeah, yeah for the stream. Well, that's why I have it that way for the stream. But it's bad for the tournament. You can't let register the tournament. Oh yeah, I didn't even think about that. And now to Jack Schombacher. It's 300 for Jack to call. B. Yeah. He does? 10-3, huh. All right, Schoenbacher, a German word for hater of money. We also got Mark Puma involved with King Jack offsuit. Puma! Flops King Jack Deuce. Two clubs on board. Of course, 10-3 flops a flush draw. Why else does this hand make it to TV? Puma's got top two. And everyone has checked to him on the button, so here comes a bet. 1,600 is the amount. And would you look at that, the two hands that were the worst before the flop now have the highest equity. Isn't poker great? The two pre-flop pairs get out of the way, so now it's Sean Bacher and Puma heads up. <laughs> Puma. A nine on the turn. Even more outs now for Schombacher. I hope Shan Backer's poker backer isn't watching. If you like playing 10-3 suited, he must be in more makeup than the Sephora store. 2,700 the bet from Jack. Puma calls. Well, Jack's looking for either a club or a queen on the river. I'm guessing Puma's looking for like a red four. Board pairs. Three pair for Puma, yeah! So Schombacher's got no chance of winning at showdown. Will he try to bluff this? The board was super wet and only the open ender got there. And it got there on the turn, so I'm not sure a bluff here would even work. One check from Schombacher. Puma with top two. I'd be tempted to check behind, but I'm also terrible. Oh, look at that, never yeah, mind. Checking behind is fine, I guess. Hey, that's a $10,000 pot. If you can scoop it on the river with no more action, mm -hmm. I will take it to get my night started. And this one goes to Puma. Yeah, so St. Patrick's Day is next Friday, but they had the parade and the parties today. I heard there was a parade. Chris, I like to celebrate every St. Patrick's Day with a traditional chant. You'll okay. hear this a lot. Uh, many St. Patrick's Day parades at the bars, stuff like that. It goes like this. It's not a city thing. I think Pittsburgh has the biggest St. Patrick's Day parade like, really? nationwide. I'm pretty oh, sure. Really? Wow, because there's a lot yeah, of Irish sure. in here. Yeah. So what do they do today? What's like a, they just go out. You, everybody you, walks on the streets with beer and yeah, yeah, you go bar hopping, go to the parade. Bar hops. So is it legal to carry beer? John Barker brings it up to 300 with King does. 10 suited. Yeah, I mean, how can they enforce it on St. Patrick's Day? Yep. Dave Eldridge in with fives. They monitor it. And right. As long as you're not out of control, they let you go. Right. D'Aloiso? Right. Pittsburgh has a lot of culture. It's a cool city. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Here's, here's Sean Deeb. I just, God bless him. Ace 10 offsuit. Let's make it 1700. Punish the limpers. Sean Barker's already shown us that he 
does not like to fold. Let's see which of these players takes the bait. Now we got one biter. <laughs> Chris called you a biter. Eldridge is looking at pretty good money if he could flop a set. Yeah, he wants some. Time for Dia Loiso to Dia Loigo out of this pot. $1,400 is a lot with 9-8 off. Uh, and that will go to the muck. So three players headed to the flop. It's the K pot. Let's go, boys. It'll be a little less. I'm only down to 19. Each player with a pretty even shot of winning this pot at showdown. Seven, deuce, six is the flop. Ugh, eight, nine would have flopped the straight draw. Schombacher's got the second nut flush draw, but it's Dave Eldridge with the only made hand right now. And his board that's not too scary for fives. Easy for you to say, because here comes Sean Deeb. You know, the board isn't scary for fives, but Sean Deeb is scary for pretty much any hand that isn't the nuts. He is repping an overpair to this board. But we know Sean Bacher can't fold. Two overs and a flush draw. Does he raise though? And yes, he does raise. So oh I like raising here. You give yourself another way to win the hand without having to make a hand. And that's exactly what just happened. Ooh. Hold it eight, nine, baby. And he shows the goods. Maybe St. Patty's Day here in Pittsburgh, but inside the rivers, it's poker night. Every night. Because it's a card room. It's a magical world without clocks or windows, but it does have commercials. Welcome back to Rivers in Pittsburgh, where Sean Deeb is wearing a shirt that I can only describe as seafoam green. That color makes his eyes pop, and honestly, it's working for me. Eldridge with ace, queen, of yeah. clubs. Yeah. Every the chip hit, goes back. just never happened. It's basically like a foul deck. If they found 53 cards in the deck, yeah. the same thing. And it was like ace low. I don't think that's what went down. Queen, I think Tommy won $2,000. Something like that. I think that's so, fair. Yeah. I mean, Call from Deeb, who also has clubs. I just don't know what they ruled it. I know sometimes they I think Tommy things. won two grand on any. In a, yeah. in a silly way or incorrectly. Yeah. This looks like we're going three ways to this next flop. Yeah, who knows? King, seven, six. Couple of clubs on board. Is it gonna be like this all night with all the draws? More draws than a European soccer league. Eldridge bets 500, he was the initial raiser. Deeb, up and down draw. That's the one he's gonna to wanna to hit. He does not want the flush draw because Eldridge would have him out kicked, obviously. <laughs> and Puma's got the best hand, but I wouldn't like it at all. There's Granny. Oh, man. Oh, boy. This club is the worst thing to happen to Sean Deeb since the last time he went to an actual club. Although I guess he does have out. Eldridge getting ready to fire the nut flush. Here's why Sean's in such a terrible spot. He simply cannot fold. He's got a call here. And if he misses his straight flush, which he will, maybe he can make a soul read on the river. And let's not forget about Puma here. Top parent up and down himself. He's got to know now he is sunk. He's got a pretty weak kicker. If someone was chasing the straight, they probably already got there. If someone was chasing the flush, they already got there. And he makes the right lay down. Six of clubs. <laughs> Queen of diamond on the river. And it's how much money can I extract time for Dave Eldridge? I don't think he can assume that Deeb is as strong as a flush, but he still may try to make this bet polarizing anyway. Get Deeb to call off with one and two pair of hands. Call. Not a polarizing bet. Deeb didn't even have to think about it. So sick. Shows the no good flush, pays him off. What'd they say? Can't do that idea either. We're gonna have a 30 minute break. We tried every possible way to get out. Well, they should have just started at one. Like if they're gonna stop. Yeah, they usually start at noon. If they're gonna give us like six. Straddle on once again. Yeah. This is the first time they haven't done it at noon. I'm trying the later thing. Deep with Jax makes the 300 action. Never started at 12. Is folded to. Hey, look at this. It's Alec Torelli, not playing a hand. <laughs> Welcome to the table, Gusak. Paul, Mike, Mark, which one is Steven. it? Steven. Steven Gusak. Yes, of course, I was thinking of the other popular Gusak brothers. We've got a of, Goose uh, and a Puma. 
had some bad luck. I had some big draws and it didn't pursue. Speaking of big hands, everybody's got a very playable one here. Eldridge like making it 1,600, King Jack suited. Now, Sean Deep obviously isn't folding jacks, but he might not want to get it all in with jacks either. Deep calls. With some of the action players that we have at this table, Joe, I don't think we're going to see many flops that aren't going to cost you at least 1000 bucks. That's looking true so far. Gusak not willing to pay that 1600 He's out. Those flashing lights are making my epilepsy itch. Jack you coming in, Glenn? Jack, Jack, Jack coming in for the sweat? Every, every All right, 5100 going to the flop. Three players. And the flop is 7-5 Trey. Sean Deep has got to love this flop. Not only does he have an overpair to the board, but this flop is very unlikely to have hit either of his opponents that hard. And I was gonna say, I expect Sean to bet pretty big, but he's not gonna get the chance. Eldridge is coming out swinging. Sean Deeb thinking over the $1,800 bet. Now this, this sort of lead out is polarizing. It's usually a monster or a total air ball. I wouldn't say total air ball, but something weak, like a pair and a straight draw. Enjoy yourself, fellas. Deeb calls, so let's bring out the turn. I was in the wrong hemisphere. Four of diamonds also, probably nothing much to scare Deeb unless Eldridge was betting with the draw. It's not a great card for either player, but since David was bluffing to begin with, oh, I expected maybe he was gonna bluff again. Good drinks, though. Don Julia. Check, check, free river. There's the six. <laughs> that is annoying. Quit hitting on me, John. <laughs> How often is it that you can have a board with no overcards, be holding jacks, and you can't even be happy about it? Now, Deep doesn't give up pots easily, and he also doesn't give up half of pots easily. All in. So obviously Eldridge worried about Sean having an eight or eight, nine. I really think the only eight Sean can have here is pocket eights. Eldridge folds. You show, I show? Uh, too late. Please say you're talking about your hands. Yeah, I don't think you're, I don't even know if there's a fruit Yeah, I, I don't have a ton of fruit. Hey, oh. Like, I'm super happy. It's like, I'm actually. Oh boy. D'Aloiso limps with his kings. I actually, kind of I actually like the limp. No way this goes around without someone raising. <laughs> I guess I'm Is going white. Yeah, both. I can't say rye bread. No, no cheese. Uh, lettuce, tomato, tuna salad. Actually, actually, just give me tuna salad, no bread. Yeah, just a thing of tuna salad. Is the fish Wait, chips any good? It did absolutely limp around. Unbelievable. We're going to see a flop for 50 bucks. I was so wrong. <laughs> Look at that. What a flop. I am back to loving the limp again. A full boat for Deloiso. Eldridge flops trip fives. What a cold deck. The last time I saw a deck this cold, a string quartet was sinking into the Atlantic Ocean. Everyone checks to the turn. Somebody please bet. Wow, massive. <laughs> $300 bet. 300 into 200. We know Eldridge isn't folding. Obviously, Deloiso loves his hand. I'm just not sure you can really put in another raise here. I like it, like the call. If you raise, Eldridge is gonna fold a lot of hands. So an eight on the river, and Eldridge's first act. From his perspective, it's pretty hard for him to be beat here, so he's almost always gonna value bet. You yeah, think something in the neighborhood of 15 to 1800 would do the trick. He went big, 2300. Almost pod sized. Once he gets raised here, yeah, there's the all in. Eldridge should be able to get away from this. I only have a five. Pre flop lip should look pretty suspicious. He's not even beating lots of other fives. Eldridge has the chips in his hand. Six, seven got there. Other fives are beating him. Pocket kings, pocket fours. Eventually makes the right fold. And somehow the limp with kings worked out. Hey, you like free stuff? I'm betting you said yes. Hey, it's Chris Hansen. We have a brand new free app, a poker app, the Poker Night in America downloadable app. You can find it in your app store. The links are in the descriptions below. We're always giving free stuff away on the app. You can play against people from all over the world. 
So what are you waiting for? My mother would appreciate it if you would download our new app today. Welcome back to Poker Nights in America. Or if you're just turning the show on now, welcome. And if you're watching this on DVR or YouTube, then I guess we still got time on that old doomsday clock. Yes. Straddle on again. It seems that way though, when like there's a re-raise and then you, you have the small pair and it's like, it always, it's always the time. Or whatever. That's why you just call. You gotta see that board. I like to sleep it. well at yeah. night, you know? Yeah. I don't want to say, man, I'm sick I folded those yeah, three. Could have won a 40K pot? No, yeah, no, no. I'm, I'm going to win that 40K pot. Yeah. I'd rather lose the $800 pot than miss winning the 40K, even, yeah. if, even if you're only, you know. You don't you say. So far with queen That's five. some pretty astute <laughs> poker commentary there, Mr. <laughs> Alec Torelli. Yeah. If you want to sign up for Alec's course about how you'd rather win a big pot than lose a small big. one, yeah. sign up now. $14.99 a month. <laughs> Trips again for Eldridge. And again, the hand is susceptible. Will it be good by showdown this time? We see he's up against a flush draw. Cold. A raise from Eldridge. It got rid of one player, but it won't get rid of Schombacher. And I like a raise there. A lot of hands are gonna call. Turn is a jack of clubs. Now Schombacher's got the flush. And David's gotta know this club is potentially very bad for him. There's a one in four chance he boats up. Check, check. And that's exactly what just happened on the river to Dave Eldridge. Here's the problem though. Now it's a double paired board, so it's gonna be tough to get paid. And some of the time when he value bets here, he's gonna be losing. Still, you got a value bet. And that bet is 3,200. Do not see how Schaumbacher can pay this off on a double paired board. Although I guess Eldridge's reputation is that he could be pure bluffing here. Because he knows that Dave knows that Dave knows that he knows okay, that. Perfect for you. Well, anyway. Don't you miss that one? Yeah. Good turnout. High six cash, man. Yeah. Never mind. Private or? Private fight. I fold. He won. Another good fold. This is not the poker night in America I know. Mm -hmm. So this, I wanted to come play because it was- Goose act straddling. You know what I'm saying? I could've You don't actually... have any comp conflict. Right, and it's a 1K, so I think- Schombacher's gonna give seven, four diamonds a try. And I see the good poker is over. Aha, uh -huh. Eldridge calls with ace three. Like it's genuinely- Really? really? Yeah. Yeah, you know you want some of this trench coat. Get in here. I know, but it's like- Come on! I don't know, it bothers me. The Aloiso calls with king, like... queen. I know it's like the high risk thing, whatever. Exactly. All right, all kinds of street urchins going to the flop here. It's now it's so much just less left. grossness yeah. everywhere I look. Three million to first, like, you know, where you're gonna get 12 left. Flops like, king three ace. 1.2 million in equity. Yeah, it's actually way better now, I think. Action on Puma. Keep more people Checks it. Yeah. The re-entries as well, like, yeah. allow you to, you know, get a lot more bullets. Sean Bacher bets 700. Eldridge flopped two silence. pair, yeah, top yeah, and bottom. Yeah, yeah. What is he doing betting in a four people at no pair, no draw? He's playing poker night in America, my friend. I want to say who hurt you, but then I remember that he folded the nut flush on the last hand, and he's probably a little tilted. Now, if you are D'Aloiso, I know you got second pair and you could improve, but no, just get out of there. It's called bet call already. Two more players act behind you. Nah, -uh. it's hard enough to improve, and then sometimes when you do, you're still gonna have the second best hand, like when you're up against ace king, ace queen, or in this case, ace three. Someone's been listening to their Alec Trelli podcast, and I kind of like it. <laughs> um, yeah. Well, he does call with the second pair. When they first came around when they were so ridiculously good. <laughs> when none of the young kids knew how to sell action. So it's just <laughs> your generation, a couple good online guys, and all the rich fish. Speaking of rich fish, have you been to Off the Hook? Sean Bucker catches a pair on the turn. One of my roommates, rather. Eldridge is going to want to bet to protect his two pair. Super nice kid, great kid. So easy to pick on. <laughs> and Dialoiso thinking of making the call here. He's drawing nearly dead. Well, he really thinks that his hand is gonna stand up as they get to the river. 
so I like. You just poured another seventeen hundred dollars into it. There's now seven k in the pot. And I like winning a lot, so it's just. Oh, Alec likes winning. I gotta subscribe to this podcast. And look at that—the three percent shot for Dia Loiso does not come in. Now's when things get dangerous. You didn't improve, but somehow you figure out a way to convince yourself your king's been good the whole way. Maybe it's after seven three. He's 7-3. Seven, seven, I think I'm folding the best hand, but I'll let you take it. Oh, no, he's going to let it go. <laughs> Probably should have done that a couple of streets ago. Eldred shows have? the ace. I just have one question for Alec Torelli. You've been talking to me this whole time? Never go full Torelli. Back after this. Welcome back to Poker Night here at Rivers in Pittsburgh. Let's have a looky-loo at the chip counts thus far through the session. Despite winning the last couple of hands, Dave Eldridge is still in the hole over three grand. Nick DeLoiso is stuck 2,100, and Steven Gusak is in for a full stack of high society, which is definitely a term I made up and absolutely not stolen from rounders. Alex Relly and Sean Deeb are currently up about six and seven grand. Mark Puma. <laughs> is in the black, again, uh, as well for nearly 3,000. But hey, check out Jack Schoenbacher. He's sitting on a profit of $125. Wonder if he's gonna lock that up. There's only one way to find out. Definitely watch the next episode. If you want Hey, hey, you know, you watching this video, I know this sounds crazy, but I'm trapped in here, inside the computer. So do me a favor, watch another one of our videos, but then after that, get me out of here. Also then hit like and subscribe, please. And then get me out again. Oh, I showed you an ace. I saw you. <laughs> I, I used to. What's another card matter? It doesn't. I just wondered if you had two pair. 